I have so many clients who've had their email and social media accounts hacked that I designed this password system for them. I thought I should share it with you. Warning, this is going to sound very, very complicated. But when you take the time to think about it and put it in practice, you will find that it's not that difficult to get the hang of. Back in caveman days when passwords first came into existence, we could mostly get away with simple mundane passwords. You know, things like our kid's name. Betty was a perfectly good password. Not anymore. Yet there are far too many people who use simple, easy to hack passwords like Betty. According to Kaspersky, this password would be hacked in one second. Not by a supercomputer, but by a home computer. Yikes. I've linked the Kaspersky password checker page I'm using below. So, to be safe, we need a complicated range of random letters, numbers, and symbols. But that's far too hard for most of us to remember. That's why I developed a method that creates complicated passwords that are easy to remember. Not at first. At first you're going to watch the video and go, huh? But it does make sense. And after doing it a couple of times, you will get the gist and the light bulb will go off and you will start having virtually hacker-proof passwords in no time. Here's the method I use to create passwords. I use an easy to remember phrase, usually three to five words, and an easy to remember three to five digit number. And lastly, I use a symbol that corresponds to one of the numbers. Let's break the method down. So, instead of using your child's first name, we'll use her complete name, Betty Amber Smith. An easy to remember three to five digit number, and in this case I use a three word phrase, so I'll use a four digit number. Let's use the year she was born, 2012. Lastly, we need a symbol that corresponds to one of the numbers. So we'll use a symbol above the number 2, which is the at sign. Got all that? Now is where it's going to sound complicated, but hang with me. I'm going to take the first two letters of each word in the phrase and keep its proper capitalization. So in this case, I'll use the capital B, lowercase e, capital A, lowercase m, capital S, and lowercase m. Now we take the number and insert one digit between each word in the phrase. And since there are more numbers than words, I'll start with the number. Using the year Betty was born, I start with 2, then add the first two letters, capital B and lowercase e, then the second number 0 and the letters, and so forth. We end up with this. Now, the last part is to add the symbol, which we will add after the number it corresponds with, in this case the number 2. And there happens to be two of them, so we'll add two symbols. And here is the password, which, if you recall, started out as Betty. And if you can remember your child's name, the year she was born, and the symbol above the number 2, you can easily remember this password even though it looks complicated. Let's test it out on Kaspersky to see how strong this password is. Four centuries to hack. Quite the difference. Let's try another example, but I'm not going to walk through the steps as slowly. Phrase. Titanic 1 Best Picture. Year at 1. 1997. Symbol, exclamation point, found above the one. Here's the password. Kaspersky says 33 centuries to hack. Now that's compared to using the word Titanic, 12 seconds. Okay, let's try a different phrase. A lot of people like to use their favorite food as passwords. Okay, so instead of using pizza, try I love pizza. Pick a number, maybe it's the last four digits of your favorite pizza joint. Number 9876. Symbol. The closed parentheses, it's found above the 9. Here's the password. Your favorite food, pizza, takes 11 seconds a hack. Okay, what if we just combine pizza and a number? Well, that's 19 minutes. So let's try the password we came up with with using the password method. Four years. Not as good as the other longer ones we used previously, but still much better than the 11 seconds that it would take to hack the word pizza. You can still use birthdays and child's names and anniversaries and favorite foods and alma maters and hometowns for passwords. Just be smarter about it. Disguise them and combine them so they don't make any sense to anybody and are virtually impossible to guess or recognize. If you can remember a simple phrase, number, and symbol, and the ordering, it's all so easy. Here, go ahead and practice one. Phrase, Dibby Dude is Handsome. Number, 2018. Symbol, at sign. Did you get the password? And no, the correct answer is not Betty. If you like the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.